Speaking of which, there's a story that that Shrab told me that I think you must have told him. And uh, it's it's kind of it's a, it sounds like a sad story, but your sad stories are really funny. Um, <laughs> Like you, so it be, you t- cut me off if you either don't want to to tell the story or or start telling it if you if you know what I'm talking about. Robin Williams was going to be in some commercial and and he said to the people shooting the commercial. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. So he called me up and he goes, you know they they're, they're going to make you do the voice. <laughs> well, he said Robin said I'll only do it if like, yeah he brought me on board. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he got me he got me money. Right. Basically, Robin's a nice man and got me a nice paycheck and. Took care of my back taxes, and uh, and uh, and he said, "Yeah, I want Bobcat in it." And then he's like, "You know, I'll, I'll only do it if he." And they call me up and they go, "You know, you're gonna have to do the voice." Like he's giving me a heads up, you know, and being nice. And uh, and I said, "For the amount of money they're paying me, I will fuck a Snickers bar." <laughs> go, how do you fuck a Snickers bar? <laughs> well, see, I didn't even blink at that. That's really? how small my dick is. I was oh, like, yeah. Really? Uh, I was like, oh, that'll just I think I mean put a small, discreet hole in the Snickers bar. I guess I should have said. You could fill it with more nougat. Like a, uh, that was grosser than I wanted it to be. I, uh, that or, wasn't a cum joke. I or, just... or you, uh, <laughs> I just, I guess I saw it going up my ass, honestly. <laughs> So my first thought you know, was I have a pencil dick, and your first thought was you fuck by yeah. putting things up your ass. Well, I, I'm more comfortable with the gay part of my... Uh, no, but here's the thing. There's a caveat with the Mars Corporation that I really... Oh, you can't... Oh, you can't uh, by the way, that doesn't mean I don't like Snickers. <laughs> I'm just saying that maybe one up my ass would be nice. <laughs> We're suggesting other ways that it satisfies. Did you ever hear that? <laughs> and, the, and, the, and there's guys. Well, this is typical me, you know. Uh, yeah. all, all the, Here's all some the... money. All right, you got to give it back. Yeah. They said to me, I, they had, I had a short meeting when uh, the, uh, uh, they're going, now, there's this thing where you, if you get involved in a scandal or if you do something that's offensive or outrageous, that they, you know, you could have to give the money back. Oh, Jesus. And I said, well, I can't imagine that, something like that ever happening. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm did like, you ever hear the urban these legend? People have no idea who they're dealing with. I'm like, I couldn't imagine anything like that happening. Uh, did you ever hear the, this 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 LA legend about? Um, Who's the guy that created all the game shows? Griff, Merv Griffith. Merv, Merv, Merv Griffin. Merv Griffin. Yeah, Merv Griffin. When, when you hear Merv Griffin, when, when you, Merv, would fit on this show. He's, uh, he's, when, you, when you hear the words Merv Griffin and Candy Bar, do you, does anything come into your head that you ever heard? For, uh, uh, no, no. I, I, for some reason, when I first got to LA, so, someone and, and by I, I'm not gonna, I actually know who the someone is, and it's and it and, 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 and but so I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to I don't I, I don't want uh, anyone calling him for confirmation and uh, but he pointed at the we were driving down the street he pointed at this one distinct building he's like this circular building that's like a house like a big circular house on a hill something it's like kind of prominent in, in, uh, in the LA scenery and he said he said you know they say that uh, Merv Griffin lives up there and he and that he eats candy bars out of little boys butts <laughs> I just just asking if you would ever I, don't, I mean it was so random and I was like, 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 I guess that's the secret of urban Will legends. Will he be remembered for the hours of enjoyment he supplied America <laughs> on television? <laughs> no. <laughs> and I was like, is that why the house is round? So that they can, I don't know, it's like an arena? Or that they, like... <laughs> like, like they... But, but, but this... then I realized if you really wanted to, you know, it should be a, like a triangle, like maximize the corners, you know. Like a, um... <laughs> <laughs> and then, and, 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 and like, like that's how that becomes an urban legend because it's it's just interesting. You got to pass it on because it's so specific. Somebody out there tries to make like a believable urban legend, like, hey, did you hear uh, 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 Robert Downey Jr. Uh, uh, did some coke last night? Like, and no one no one spreads it. You know, no one cares. But but you see, so you gotta you gotta like do something really specific but with we're something a weird really specific. Culture because like w- these these urban le- legends because if you don't address them, people just accept them as true. Like the G- Richard Gere thing. Yeah, I mean, I really wish Richard Gere uh, would go on a talk show and say, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> look, I, I, I never had a hamster in my ass. I, you know? uh, Just go look at this face. <laughs> Do you really think I'm that bored with pussy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll, you I'm guys Richard will put Gere. a hamster in your ass before Richard Gere does. Yeah, it seems. You know, yeah. I, I need an <laughs> or, or, or are you looking at it the other way, though? He'd be bored of pussy sooner. He'd so wear much. it out like a well, video Well, sometimes, game. like, rock stars, I think, Tom Kenny had this theory that they're, like, uh, the immortals. Do you right. know what I mean? And they get bored with... You know what I mean? Because there's that picture of Brando with a wiener in his mouth. <laughs> like, and it's like... And his explanation of it, I think, I think, he, I think he said at one point, he's like, yeah, I was just like... Because he was at the height of his fucking dominance of everything. And it's like after a while, I'm sure you know you get bored. DiCaprio and McGuire probably go like, uh, "Hey, man, you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> We're the only two people we haven't fucked but yet. Let's, <laughs> let's go in the bathroom and, 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 and set a record. It's like, just it's just a numbers game. Yeah, or, or just it's just like a, an Everest game. You know, it's just uh, like, like, like walking over the frozen bodies of of, 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 of every never... supermodel in the world and going like, "This is this is you know, <laughs> like, you're you're not invited. I'm bored." <laughs> I'm so bored of pussy. <laughs> is that Dro- Droopy? That's he's Droopy so Dog. He got yeah. a lot of talent. <laughs> yeah. he and he like, eventually he finds Yosemite <laughs> Sam. Like yeah. it, like, <laughs> I only took out enough to win. Yeehaw. I'm not going to do a Yosemite Sam. He was, uh, <laughs> I say, I say, boy. No, he, he fuck, <laughs> Foghorn Leghorn. I say, I say, boy. So what are you but, doing uh, with that erection? So... <laughs> But no, you know what? Never in the rumor mill, Clooney. Clo- yeah, because he's. Uh, I took. We we're all we, trying to achieve Clooney. I mean, you know. Yeah, we want him. He's like like Cary Grant or whatever. He fits. He's that tarot card that we reserve for one guy. That's like, uh. He he's fixed so, a paparazzi's tire. <laughs> Come on, man. It is, uh, you want to? How can you be that zen? That perfect? Every time he's in the news, it's like he get tipped a lemonade stand a hundred dollars. He, you know, what I mean. <laughs> we're gonna find out when he, you know, something. Uh, he's he's got to have like. <laughs> like a uh, like a trap door under a carpet in his house, right? There's got to be some I just dudes think, down there or something. No, some, man, like, I don't want anything some, bad about Clooney. I want to believe there's I don't one think person does. Yeah, without yeah. without. Um, although the political uh, the right, the conservative uh, groups hate him, but yeah. oh, because he's outspoken, uh, uh, yeah, progressive, yeah. yeah, which is just so insane. You know, all the the that whole you know when I made the movie God Bless America, there'd be a lot of conservative types that would be. So angry at the movie and not seeing it, or they just needed it for fodder. You know, I mean, it's it's not yeah. reality. You know, I didn't say you couldn't make a movie where I don't know who was the Bill O'Reilly type that got yeah. shot in the face. In didn't one of the Zucker brothers like make like the world's first conservative <laughs> comedy? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, it was like why 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 is all comedy like so liberal and stuff? And he made like a a parody of Michael Moore. Yeah, and it was like yeah, he's doing bits in it that are like Zucker brothers bits, but they're the joke is that uh, uh, you know 9 is going to happen again if we don't uh, stay on our wa- guard. <laughs> like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I, like, like, why do you think comedy's liberal? Because we need to fucking relax. A, <laughs> what, what, conservatism well, doesn't but, doesn't lend itself to comedy. But, but the other thing is, is like uh, Michael Moore has a huge sense of self parody. You know, it's not like he's not like a guy that doesn't. You know, who isn't the first one to crack wise about himself. It's like we got to take that clown down a couple notches. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's never gonna work if you're. It, yeah, not 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 coming from that side. It's just too much. I mean, I'm sure there's some. There's very funny and certainly there's very smart people who also happen to be politically right leaning. But just in general, I, I, well, just, this is two. Those two things don't traditionally mesh. And I think there's a. Well, but there is like a. Uh, there's the. Uh, there's just this weird thing like. When Clint Eastwood went up and talked to the chair, that bit, it wasn't a sign of a guy being crazy. That bit just wasn't written for me. It wasn't written for progressive liberal types. It was like, you know, he was making fun uh, of people that people... I I didn't see it as a guy who was nuts. I I just thought, oh, these jokes aren't for me. Right. He knew his audience. He wasn't babbling. He wasn't insane. And it killed there. And you know, It didn't kill there. But They were really mad that he didn't go out there and just go, make my day. They're like, "You're, you're a conservative. You're just supposed to say your catchphrases. Come on, say hasta la vista, baby. That's what a conservative, uh, you know, you're supposed to say that uh, I'll be back. You're not supposed to go up there and, and do a, a bit. So, uh, I actually defend him. I think he's a very bright man. It's just those jokes weren't for me. Yeah, I, 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 I reckon you're right. I don't know. 